Amazon is just having a very, very, very bad day today to the point where I actually have to make two videos on the topic. So if this is your first one, check back in a few hours. We're going to have a second video about everything that's going on. But anyway, Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Afterpreneur. Welcome to my channel. If these videos fascinate you, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification. We upload, we've been uploading on a near daily basis. So, uh, you'll want to be kept up to date with that. So anyway, we have talked at length about the Amazon worker who was fired for raising safety concerns at the company. Now, you know, people, of course, were always going to play, like, devil's advocate to Amazon. And I understand that. Like, hey, you know what? This guy made Amazon look foolish. That's why he was let go. And it's like, yeah, that's true. But the thing is, you should not be firing someone because they have safety concerns. You, you should not be firing them, especially during a pandemic when these issues need to be brought to light, that maybe the warehouses are not as safe as they should be. And Amazon's going to go and fire them to basically try to save face. No, that's not how this works. That's not how this works. And it has, by the way, resulted in the New York City, um, I think the uh, mayor of New York City, basically doing an inquiry about them and, you know, examining whether or not they actually broke any um, labor law, which I would not be surprised if they, they did. And also New York's relationship with Amazon is probably pretty sour right now because Amazon tried to take them for a ride with that whole second headquarters thing. But, you know. But anyway, you would think that would mean Amazon would slow down, they'd be on their best behavior, but no, they're not. They're not. Because they have actually fired a couple more people for, of course, repeatedly violating internal policies. However, the people who were fired were instrumental in raising concerns about health and safety at the company. So this is from CNET. Amazon has fired two tech workers after they spoke out publicly against warehouse conditions during the C virus pandemic. User experience designers Emily Cunningham and Maureen Costa, both active members of the advocacy group Amazon Employees for Climate Justice, had offered match donations up to $500 for warehouse workers citing insufficient protections. The company, which had warned both employees about violating company policies earlier this year, because of course, speaking out against Amazon is violating company policy, confirmed the firings of statement emailed the CNET. We support every employee's right to criticize their employee's working conditions. Oh, I bet. Uh, but what? But that does not come with blanket immunity against any and all internal policies. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Here's the thing. Um, there's probably some truth to that statement. However, it's a really, really bad look. It's a really bad look. And hey, since you're getting investigated for basically violating labor law when it comes to health and safety, maybe you shouldn't be firing people who are raising concerns about safety in the warehouses when it's on everyone's mind. We terminate these employees for repeatedly violating internal policy. Amazon on Tuesday confirmed it also fired Bashir Mohammed, a Minnesota warehouse employee who was involved in organizing workers' demonstrations. Yeah, so... Um, Where's Amazon saying we can, um, they're allowed to protest if they want? Amazon spokesperson Kristen Krish said in a statement that the company respects and recognizes employees' right to protest, doesn't sound like it, but said health and safety concerns need to be considered. This individual was terminated as a result of progressive disciplinary action for inappropriate language behavior and violating social distancing guidelines. Amazon doesn't have any social distancing guidelines, they really don't. So, any. Anyway, and that, so now we're up to four people that Amazon have ter have terminated for um, reportedly violating company policy when really they were protesting the safety conditions. Of course, Senator Cory Booker and fellow New Jersey Democrat and, sorry, the fellow New Jersey Democrat and Senator Bernie Sanders voiced concerns about the terminations, as did Senator Bob Men uh, Menendez. Um, and they're all... Um, criticizing Amazon's working conditions, they're criticizing their response, and yeah, so that's, but that's just one part of it, that's just one par part of it, um, here's the thing, the warehouses are actually a very big safety issue, they're a huge safety issue, how much so? Well, um, France is making them shut down, that's, that's where we are, um, Amazon has decided to close its six fulfillment centers in France until Monday, according to an internal document seen by Capital and Reuters. The company also said publicly that it'll probably appeal yesterday's court decision that restrict orders to essential goods. So basically what happened was a French court ruled that Amazon hasn't been doing enough product 
doing enough to protect warehouse workers from the sea virus. The company had already been prioritizing essential items over non-essential ones, but union representatives and labor inspections complained they had been hard to respect social distancing. So France said, shut it down. Shut it down. And Amazon was forced to do it. What's more, they're threatening to end deliveries in France because of this. You know, this is Amazon doing their, hey, hey, if you don't like it, we'll take our ball and we'll go home. How... Ever, you know, they don't seem to realize like France does not really seem to care that much. France is actually France would be perfectly fine if Amazon just never came back. Of course, that's wishful thinking because Amazon isn't considering leaving France entirely. They're just shutting down the warehouses um, until further no noted. So, by the way, that's what Amazon looks like in France. Um, so, yeah, because Amazon statement says, Our interpretation suggests that we may be forced to suspend the activity of our distribution centers in France, which create ambiguity, so it would be hard to um, implement. Well, they're shut down. They're sh shut down. And it it's inter interesting, because I'm pretty sure the French are protesting a lot more than America is right now about this whole thing, but you don't see French workers getting fired that much. And, by the way, what... What does Amazon feel about this? Is Amazon going to be hurt by this? Are, is their stock going to tumble? Are people going to be looking at them like saying, wow, they're kind of a dangerous company. Maybe we should do something about it. Probably not. In fact, Jeff Bezos actually um, gained $24 billion during this pandemic. So Amazon's doing better than ever. The unsanitary working conditions, the abuse of the workers, the firing of people who raise safety concerns, it's not even an issue to them. I mean, New, New York investigation, what do they care? They're making another $24 billion. It's funny how one of my friends fairly recently called Disney Skynet because Disney Plus hit 50 million subscribers. He's like, Disney is officially Skynet now. And it's like, no, they're not. Amazon is Skynet. Amazon is in has their tentacles in everything they're successful in everything they're one of the only companies that are not suffering during this entire time that should scare everyone a little bit like in a time when everyone is suffering and we know everyone is suffering there's only one company that isn't suffering and they happen to have more control over the worldwide market than any other company amazon needs to be taken down they need to be split up something needs to happen this cannot go on and the thing is, they've already proven that they cannot be trusted to do the right thing in any circumstance. I started out praising them for their response, but, you know, the more this goes on, the more it's like, no, they're, they're protecting their own butt. They are protecting their own butt. And the story from the second video that we're going to be doing in just a little bit reminded me of just how much they have looking out for their own interests while looking out for nobody else. But we're going to talk about that in a separate video. We're going to end this one here. What do you folks think about any of this? Hey, are you an Amazonian? Do you work for Amazon? Do you feel safe at the warehouse? I would love to know what anyone's thoughts on any of this are. So, you know the drill. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.